Hi, in this video we're going to look at how to export data from NinjaTrader for use in GSB. The first thing you need to do is open NinjaTrader. Now once NinjaTrader is open, get it open already, just open that up. All you need to do is go up to Tools, down to Export, go to Historical Data. Now in Historical Data you have to first download the instrument you want to get the data for, so let's do Facebook, FB, choose the start date, so I'm just going to do 2015 until the current date, and then you would hit download. Make sure you've selected minute and make sure you've selected last. Okay, so now that I've played around with the window sizing, hit download. Now on the bottom right hand side you'll see the system is downloading the Ninja Trader data for Facebook. I'll just pause it, this might take a few minutes. Right, once the data has exported, so we blank down here, you go down to export and in this drop down menu you'll be able to see the all of the instruments that you've exported or downloaded data for. So in this case it was Facebook, so let's pick Facebook. We'll go back to 2015. We have the end date, minute, last, just hit export. Now the folder you export the data to has to be the GSB folder. So you go C colon, GSB, data, price data, save the data in here. In this case, we're going to go FB, it's one minute data, make sure you save them in this format. FB dot one dot minute, so that one would be 15 minutes or 30 minutes if you downloaded the 30 minute data. And then the next one is the time frame, so we've got a minute, it could be daily, weekly, etc. GSP will be best with intraday, or the bottle of daily or weekly data. So fb.1.minute. Dot anything you like. Now I'm just going to mark the beginning and the end date, so we'll go 310515 to 0607. 206th of June, 7th of June. Sort of right date format. I'm using English date format, you can use American. Now 31st of May 15 to 7th of June 20, hit save. Now it's retrieving the data, exporting it, you can see the progress down here. Okay, so once that's done, just double check it's in the right folder. So we go C colon GSB data price data and then you can see the file that we just downloaded. In the next video I'll show you how to use these files to build a system in GSB.